host controls are very important to controlling your remote environment. It gives you that classroom management even though you're remote. So let's get right into it. I'm logging to my Google Meet and on the very bottom all the way to the right, let me make this just a tad bit bigger so make sure everyone sees it. On the right, right here, you see your host controls. It's a shield with a lock in it. This is where you want to go to manage this remote environment. So under host controls, the first thing you'll see is the meeting moderation. And you have the option to turn this on or off. But I would never turn this off. And even Google is like, no, no, hey, hold up. Don't turn this off because by doing so, you're giving the students or participants to write to do all of these things listed here. That means you would have no control of this environment. So you don't want to ever turn this off. Keep this turned on for your protection to manage your classroom. So I'm going to keep that on. The first area we're going to look at is let everyone share their screen. When turned off, only the host can share their screen. So right now I have it turned off. Turn it on, toggle it on and off. I would say keep it off until you're ready for students to share their screen, such as they want to present their project to the class, something like that, and you need them to share their screen. Or even if you're trying to do troubleshooting with the student and you want them to share their screen so you can walk them through it, then turn it on. But always toggle this off when not needed because students do take over your screen to be funny or even by mistake. I've seen that a lot too. It's a mistake. They mistakenly hit that button to share their screen. So to avoid that, turn it off until needed. You have the chat option. You can turn off the chat where only the host would be able to send chat messages. The students will not be able to, if you toggle that off, the students will not be able to send chat. But don't forget, you do have that raise hand feature. They can raise their hand if they have a question in the case that you turn off that feature, they'll have the option to raise their hand and you'll be able to let them ask their question. So you have the option to control that. So if you feel like they're getting out of hand in the chat, they need a break or timeout, come here and toggle it on and off. You control it. So turn it on only when you need it and turn it back off when it shouldn't be utilized. Control it as you please. The next option is turn on their mic. So when turned off, only the host can turn on their microphone. So that means only you would be able to turn on your mic. Those students will automatically be muted. So therefore, if you have the chat and the mic off, you might have to definitely use that raise the hand feature so you can ask them a question and then maybe turn on the chat or unmute for just a moment so that they can ask the question. But you do have the option to control that because I know sometimes students keep unmuting themselves, interrupting you, and you want to get through what you're trying to say, you might want to turn it off. You have the option to control that. Also, you can turn off their video. When turned off, only the host can turn on their video. So everything you're doing is applying to your participants, your students. So if I turn this off, the students won't be able to turn on their video. Sometimes they do have distracting things going on in their background, which is distracting your class at that time. And you may want to turn it off so that you can teach it then. Maybe after you finish doing whatever task, you want to turn it back on so that you can see the students. You can toggle that off and on as well. And the last thing is the meeting access. And you get quick access. You can turn this on or off. And it tells you here, when turned off, the host must join first. That's a great protocol. Don't ever have the link available to where students are on the call before a teacher. Always have that to where the students join after you. You turn that link on. And you know we have extra precautions in Google Classroom where you can turn the link off when you're not using it and you make sure all the students exit the link and turn it off and even change your link often for the students to prevent them from being on the link as well. So those are extra things that you can do in your Google Classroom to help control anything that may happen in your Google Meet. So also only people invited by the host could join without asking if you turn it off and only hosts can dial out of a meeting. So these are the options that you have to help control your meeting. So by controlling all of these options, you should have less distractions during your 
virtual or your um, remote learning. So I hope this helps with going through your options and setting that as a teacher, you are in control. Toggle these on or off as you need.